Hey y'all, Chuck here with Cigar Pals. Hey, uh, today I've been hanging on to this. This is a uh, Jacob's Ladder cigar that I got from uh, Hector Marquez. He did my second article that I did was uh, with Hector, and he gave me a couple of these, and I've smoked them all except for this last one. And I want to do a review on it. So uh, let me tell you about this little band, this little ribbon. Um, Hector and Lisa, his wife, um, are Christians, and they, instead of using a cigar band, they decided to put this little cloth or a little um, piece of yarn on their cigars. And the reason for that is that people ask about it, and when somebody asks about that piece of yarn, they can tell them uh, their testimony. So anyhow, but we're going to smoke it today and see how it goes. Um, I found these to be a very unique stick in the past, and um, I've been hanging on to this for a while, so um, it shouldn't, it should still be good. But if it's not, it's probably on me and not on them. But I'm gonna, we're going to try it and see how it goes. But uh, we're going to use a straight cut because this is a very small ring gauge. I would, I would imagine this ring gauge is in the 30s. But uh, we're going to cut it off with a straight cut and uh, then see how it goes. Um, all right. Let's just... Use the old uh, Carrillo torch, and you can read about Carrillo cigars in my next article. And um, I've got two articles out right now about the Dominican Republic, and we've got one. Well, I think we've got two more coming out. But anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and toast it a little bit and see how this smokes. I forgot to do a cold draw, mm. but uh, it'll be all right. Mm, nice, very nice. like it. I'll be back in a minute, a few minutes, and tell you how it's smoking. By the, the, the initial draw, excellent. The aroma, incredible. And this is a uh, primary, I believe, a Dominican cigar. It's got, I, I have to go back and read the article, but it, I think it's got four different uh, leaves in it. But uh, anyhow, or five different leaves, if I'm not mistaken. Anyhow, we'll be back. Bye. Hey y'all, I'm back. We've been smoking this for about maybe 10 minutes. A little ways down. Nice even burn. And uh, the draw is incredible. It's uh, very, very smooth. You would not believe how smooth this is. And it's smooth, but it's very complex. And you can get all kind of flavors out of this, this stick here. It's a uh, Very nice. I'm, I'm a big fan of Jacob's Ladder. Um, I want to. I want to see. I'm going to see them in a couple weeks, and uh, I'm hoping that they have this in a different size. Uh, bigger ring gauge would suit me better. But uh, even if they don't, I'm hoping I'll pick some of these up, and uh, you know, look forward to smoking some more Jacob's Ladder. But anyhow, we're, we're burning down really nice, like as I said, and I'm gonna uh, take a little while and we'll see, we'll see how this ash builds. So far it's building really nice. Um, I got no complaints with this cigar at all. We'll be back.
All right, we're back. We're almost, maybe not quite halfway through. We've got a little, little bit of uneven burn, but uh, that's not, uh, that's probably the way I've been keeping this thing and not really the cigar itself, because this cigar has been really nice. It made a little over an inch, I guess, uh, ash, and then it fell, which is the um, a cigar this small, ring gauge wise. It's uh, you know, hard to hold. It's hard to build it to where it's going to hold an ash for a long time. But we're finding this cigar very complex. There is so much in this thing, and uh, and I can't identify any of them. Uh, it's infused with biblical oils so you know it's got an earthy cedary taste but uh, other than that it's hard to identify but they're really they just fill up your palate with uh, a lot of flavor there you know and I'm really impressed I, I can't uh, say enough about this cigar it's uh, very interesting We'll be back when we get toward the end of it. We're back. Still smoking. My battery's getting ready to run low, but we've been smoking this stick for about a half an hour now. Maybe, maybe not quite a half an hour. And, you know, if you read the article, it talks about the oils when they were experimenting with the oils, said they didn't get buzzed, but they just lacked any motivation, you know? And uh, we're sitting here smoking this thing, and it's like, ah, it's just very calming and soothing and just, just all is right. <laughs> so, we'll be back. All right, we're back, still smoking been about 45 minutes you know which is uh i didn't think this stick would burn that long but it, it's been uh going on going along and uh the flavor still nice and full and just complex really enjoyable we'll be back for the finale See oh yeah one more thing i wanted to tell y'all i forgot this uh, a while ago after you know I told you in, originally in the vi beginning of the video that um, this was Dominican tobacco but I'm mistaken it's Nicaraguan tobacco it's five uh, different leaves from Nicaragua and it's got uh, a Habano wrapper on it so now you know alright we're back again we're gonna finish this video out um, I'm sure we're gonna smoke this till we burn our fingers, but uh, it's been a real enjoyable experience. We just picked up what we think is Rose of Sharon in there. I don't know a lot about that, but there's just a lot of unique flavor in this cigar. I cannot, I have never smoked anything like it, and I really hope to smoke many more. See y'all later next time on Cigar Pals.